Dr. Carlo Carrozana. Today, the class is going to be really simple. It's going to be a small class, but I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Today is going to be about the difference between hyperlordosis and hyperlordosis. They both affect the lumbar spine, okay? You have a lordosis curve on the spine. It's about 60 degrees. That's about normal, okay? Then you have too much of that curve. It's not good or it's not normal. If you got too little of that curve, it's also not normal, okay? So, I'm gonna focus on explaining you real quick the most important thing that you have to know about that. They said that they're gonna start with hyperlordosis. So, when you have, when you hyperlordotic, your muscles, your, uh, your stomach muscle, your abs, they're gonna be flat. They won't be tight, okay? You need some work on that muscle. They need to be tight. So, normally they're long and they're kind of soft, okay? Same situation with the glutes and the hamstring the muscles posterior to the legs and the gluteal muscles, they're gonna be more long, they're gonna be more stretched, and they're gonna be more soft, okay? Different than the lumbar muscles, the lumbar muscle is gonna be tight, tenderness down there, okay? As well as the muscles of anterior legs. That will create the psoas, the quads, and the adductors. Also, the lateral muscle the uh, uh, tensor fascia latte, TFL, tensor fascia latte, okay. Now we create an anterior tilt of the pelvis, okay? The pelvis is gonna be anterior superior. It's gonna be facing that way, all right? That, that may create a problem with the bone moving forward, okay? And that's really, really not an ideal situation for the nerve because that may put pressure on the nerve, on the spinal cord and on the nerve. So we wanna avoid that as chiropractors or as anybody, we try to avoid the uh, patients suffer from that condition, okay? So it's gonna talk about the high polydosis. So high polydosis, it's a different. The ads is gonna be tight, the glutes and the hand dream are gonna be tight, the quads, okay, the muscle in the front of the legs, they're gonna be long and soft, as well as the back muscle, okay? They're gonna be more long and stretched out. They need to work, they need to be tied up, all right? And that's the most important thing that you need to know. Either way, you may you may have irritation on the nerve, and you may have irritation of the facet joints. This joint here, where the bones or the vertebrae they get together or they join together, that very pain sensitive, very pain sensitive. If they stretch out or they the approximation is too much, they get irritated and then you feel a lot of pain. Okay, and you don't want that. So. What is it that we do as a chiropractor to relieve that from you or to make that hypo, hyper or hypo better? Uh, doctor chiropractic, a uh, doctor holistic doctor that we understand neuromuscular medicine, okay? We always look to the spine first, okay? We focus on the nerve system, the spine. Then we find misalignment of the spine. We are very trained to find misalignment, subluxations, malpositioning of the vertebrae is creating that pressure on the nerve. The reason is, this nerve have, uh, you know, have a function to do. This nerve keep the uh, systems, all the system of the body organized, all right? And then it's important, it's essential. Then there's no pressure on the nerve and the spine is functioning correctly, okay? And then you have enough space between the bone, between the vertebrae, so the nerve can ramificate and go through your body and bring the signal that is coming from the brain nice and clear. And that's important. Also, the brain receives that signal nice and clear. We're also talking about the circulation of the spine. We're also talking about all the drainage, okay? And the movement and the work functioning of the spine, all right? So, hyperlordosis is not normal. Hyperlordosis, hyperlordosis is not normal. Hyperlordosis it's also not normal. So in the case of hypo, going back to that, then the pelvis creating a posterior inferior. The pelvis is moving this way. Hyperlordosis is moving this way. Then we're gonna do the adjustment. When we do the adjustment, when we apply the specific technique, then the technique is totally different. That's why if you don't know what to do, please don't do it because it's not your spine. You're hitting somebody if you're messing around with somebody's spine and you don't know what you're doing, you haven't taken the classes, you haven't taken the training, you haven't taken the seminars, you haven't taken all the time that we put on to learn about this, okay? Then, 
how can we as chiropractors, uh, doctors who understand neuromuscular medicine, uh, find out or know exactly what is it? Of course, we do x-rays, okay, number one, we do the radiology, then we read it, we analyze it, we do the lines, we see what's happening, we do orthopedic tests, we do neurological tests, we do massive testing, we do brain on motion, active and passive, okay? And we do all the tests, we have instrumentation that we use also to see where the problem is specific is and what is it that we can do, okay, to fix it. Okay, then the next thing would be the treatment, the treatment. What is it that we do? Again, we go back to the spine, we try to correct. If there is a movement of the, of the spine forward, then we try to do that. Is the spine or the vertebra move posteriorly or they rotate or they translate? We try to fix that, okay? Then we stretch, then we do exercise, then we do soft tissue work for the muscles. They also need the work. Then we also use some modalities of physiotherapy that includes ultrasound, okay? Includes, uh, I like to use the infrared sometimes when the, the injury is crony or the healing process. Then hydrotherapy, we I like def, definitely, I love to use eyes at the beginning when the inflammation process is there and the pain is there, then I use uh, eyes. Then we can use laser, you know, to go deep in the tissue, ultrasound to go deep in the tissue. We can use EMS to relax the muscle a little bit. And we also do a lot of stretching, like I said before, and exercises to strengthen the muscles if they need it, okay? All this treatment, is the patient follow, pay attention, and really want to get better, that definitely will help the patient, okay? And then we finish with nutrition, which is really important, and lifestyle. We always go back to a lifestyle, okay? And then, lifestyle. We have to create that good habit that we're talking about, okay? Because I think it's easy to create a bad habit, but if you focus on a good habit, exercise a little bit, have to be the whole day. I like to exercise a lot, but you don't have to exercise a lot. So you can do 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour. If you do it every day or every other day, you're gonna maintain your body in a really, really good health. There's no one thing I know that is keeping the health to the maximum potential without exercising and eating right, okay? Then again, go back to that. I'm gonna focus my videos later on nutrition and exercise. For now, I just want to cut the sugars, okay? Just diminish the salt and the white flour, okay? Less bread, etc. If you do that and you exercise, this is walking for 15 minutes every other day, okay? Perhaps start doing some push-ups and then some apps in the morning, few, you know? Then that definitely would be changing, start to change the, the, uh, your body and start to creating the habit. The habit is the one who has the value because you will never go back from that, you know? You will lower, your body's gonna feel good and then you start doing that again and again and again and then you're gonna see the results, okay? If you give your body good food, if you see the food as a, as a medicine, you know, something is gonna do something good for you, then the result is gonna be always double or many, many times over, okay? If you eat a salad, you're gonna function for three or four hours, five, you know, boom, you know, energy. If you eat bad, then you're gonna feel that your body doesn't feel, you don't feel the desire. You know, if you wanna study or you wanna work, you don't even wanna do anything. You wanna sleep because the food is so bad, it made your body slow, okay? All right, so I don't wanna make this conversation too long, too long, but anyway, this is Dr. Carlos Carazana, Carlos Carazana, and remember that you cannot lose with the information in Dr. Carazana use. All right. Have a good day. Bye now.